You've got a lot of nerve. I'm sorry? You're a hypocrite. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Standing up there preaching about God and love. You've been married and divorced a lot. If you talk to God, how come you can't keep a commitment with a woman? I can't tell you how many times I've asked myself that same question. The women in my life are all wonderful. They treated me a whole lot better than I treated them. I betrayed them. I let them down. I let my kids down, too. I admit that. More than that, I cannot say without invading their privacy, and that I am not going to do. What I can do is love as much as I can from where I am. To make every gesture and action sponsored by love. It sounds to me like you've written a book of lies. If what you're asking me is, did I make all of this stuff up? The answer is no. I've wondered what you're wondering. Will anyone believe me? Believe what I'm saying? Believe where this came from? And, and I, I guess, guess that, that's, that's up, up to you, you. To, to each of you. I only, I only hope, hope that you don't disqualify or marginalize the message because it's, it's coming through such a fallible messenger. messenger. My, My name, name is Kay, Kay and, and I, I just wanted, wanted to thank, thank you for admitting, admitting your, your mistakes. mistakes. Well, thank you, Kay, um, and all of you, but the truth of it is I'm still making those mistakes to this day, and that's why these conversations with God are such a miracle for me. They, they came out of a need, a desperate personal need for me to change my life. And, um, you know, uh, if I've been <coughs> successful at it in the way I'd like, I don't know, but, but it's the way it happened, and it's the way it's, it's still happening. My question is, if God has one message, his most important message to all of us, and you could put it in one paragraph, what would it be? Well, I could fit it into five words. You've got me all wrong.